which includes a special dividend. Shareholders will get 125 rands per share after tax. This was announced today as Anglo Platz released, uh, Anglo Platz released their annual financial results, reporting that headline earnings for the full year ended December 2021 rose to 79 billion rand. That's up from 30 billion rand in the year prior. A combination of higher pl- uh, platinum group metal prices and higher volumes sold are said to have driven the latest performance. Well, to give us the backstory to the numbers, I'm joined by Natasha Villon. She's the CEO at Anglo-American Platinum. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Natasha. Now, the numbers are indicative of a stellar performance. So from where you sit, what would you say culminated in producing these numbers? Um, Nambu, um, good afternoon to you and all of your viewers. Um, I think you've touched on the two areas. The one is certainly a very good performance of our processing division. Um, that enabled us to de, to uh, draw down on a working in pro work in pro, pro progress build um, that culminated in 2020. That aligned with very lucrative prices and a very good BGM price environment allowed us to have this very good um, financial performance. Now, we do often hear, perhaps with the other miners, that they suffer with logistics problems and so on and so forth. But given your story of higher volume sales, presumably everything on your end from an operational perspective is running smoothly and that when it comes to exports on the logistics side, you don't have a problem. Number yes. Um, our business is very different because we have high value um, metals. The volume is really small. So we peers in the industry are challenged with moving bulk materials like coal or iron ore on rail, for instance, or on road. We have similar challenges with our chrome, which is lower value and higher volume. That is the challenge. As part of as part of, as far as PGMs are concerned, though, because of the high value and lower volume, we mainly move our products by air, and we don't have the same logistical challenges. All right. So, of course, it's quite topical right now. We've heard that part of the reason that the fiscus has done better than expected has been because of the performance of guys like yourself. Just uh, let us know what kind of tax are you going to have to pay as a result of last year's performance. Um, I think um, there is certainly um, a big contribution that we are making to um, to the fiscus, and I think it's important for us to consider the overall social contribution that we are making. We are putting back into the South African economy close to 150 billion rand this year, of which 35 billion rand goes towards taxes and royalties. We've paid 14 billion rand to, towards salaries and wages. Um, we've spent 28 billion rand on local BE procurement, of which more than 5 billion rand is going back into doorstep community procurement. In addition, we've done 2 billion rand of social investment targeting COVID support. And then I think it's important for us to recognize that when we say we are putting money in back into the South African economy, Spending the capital to sustain our business and to grow our business is a core portion of of our work. And we've spent 14 billion rand in capital to maintain um, our assets as it stands. So I think it's important that we look at the full portfolio, not only at the taxes and royalties, but certainly, as you say, I think a good contribution to the fiscus of 35 billion rand. Yeah, no, you, you make a, a very valid point. Thanks very much for that, Natasha. Now, being so cash flush and sharing with the shareholders, what then is your debt story, if indeed you have one? And are there any plans for ver- further investments? You talked about, of course, having a capital investment in maintaining your current infrastructure, but anything new, any opportunities that you see to invest in? A couple of very exciting opportunities. Um, you see, you will see that we've guided just in this year 2022. We've guided that we will spend between nine and a nine, nine and a half billion rand, and that's a combination of SIB capital, but a number of in, in interesting opportunities for us going forward. One of those would be our board approved a LifeX project for us at our Debrochen Motodoro Debrochen mine. Um, and that is 3.9 billion rand. That will extend the life of that operation by uh, 
beyond 30 years. And that's, that means we also secure job opportunities for our 2,000 employees that work there for beyond, um, beyond 30 years. In addition to that, we have spent money in the last year to de-bottleneck two of our assets, concentrated, uh, concentrated plants, both at Unki and at Mototoro, and that will allow us to increase production through those operations this year. Yeah. At our model build operations, we're doing exciting work to transform a conventional underground mine into a modern mine, and we are pursuing mechanized mining. And then in the world of Mujalakwena, um, really interesting opportunities in application of new technologies, Firstly, bulk ore sorting, coarse um, particle rejection, and our 300-ton hydrogen haul truck that is aimed at targeting our um, greenhouse gas emissions for diesel um, that we generate through diesel consumption specifically. Mm. So a number of sustaining life X expansion and technology projects in our portfolio. Natasha, one very quick one, but a critical one, of course. Uh, you know, with commodities, they tend to be cyclical. And there is a concern that, you know, there, there's boon and there's bust. Uh, how do you see the fundamentals for the balance of this year for the PGMs? Remember, we are quite bullish um, about our product and we believe that certainly for the short to medium term that the market for our products remain robust. So for the remainder of the year, we believe that we will continue to see good prices, not at the level that we've seen in the last year, but certainly still sustaining at a good level. We do have a risk in terms of the transition into the battery electric um, drivetrain and how we, we transition with that new um, electrification of the drivetrain. And that's certainly a downside risk for our business that we're actively working on in the product development space. Thank you very much, Natasha, for your time uh, and uh, a very good result there. Natasha Villon, she's the CEO of Ameri Anglo-American uh, Platinum. We'll have more news for you after a short break.